Alright. Well, we can watch that uh, afterwards. Let's find... You don't have to work tonight? I do. I do have to work tonight. What time? Um... Eleven. <laughs> oh. I work at eleven. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I got ten. We are good. But I do still have some other stuff to do. So after watching DBC, I'm gonna take you guys back. Cool. Um, I don't want to stay all night either. <clears throat> I want to watch stuff, play stuff. Let's move a group. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's look for that direct. Yep. Two thirteen. Nine. Uh, Twenty nineteen. Only thirty six <clears throat> minutes. Yep. Okay, there it is. Hey there, everyone. I'm Rasen Ryu, and you, my friends, can call me Rasen. I'm here with my brother and sister, and we're about to finally watch the direct. We're a little late uh, doing it. Well, actually, we're on time because I don't like watching it when it's live because it tends to lag out. So. From now on, I'm just going to be watching a uh, a recording of it after it goes back up on YouTube, uh, which a lot of people are already doing, so I'm not sure why I'm explaining this to you. Welcome, guys. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Uh, this is just going to be uh, our general reactions to what's going on. I, I don't know much about what's going to be shown. I've heard rumors that we're going to see some Metroid Prime 4 Ooh, stuff here. Yeah. That will be interesting. Right. Hmm. Other than that, I have no idea what we're getting ourselves into. Um, but without further ado, in order to not drag this on so much longer, let's get into it. Let's get direct. Let, let's get direct. <laughs> <laughs> Turn this down just a little bit more. Ah, oh, you died. Nice. Oh, it's another Mario Maker. <laughs> oh, nice. Makes sense. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> Super Mario Maker 2, yeah. That's awesome. Hmm. I mean, I never played their first Mario Maker, and I wasn't really interested in making my own levels or anything, so that's the reason. But it's awesome that it's coming to Switch. Right. Like, that just makes it all the more portable. And you know, it's, it's just interesting. It is. Between 2D and 3D and all the different renditions of Mario and then everything that he's been through and you can manipulate all of it. It's it's really an interesting game. Wow. <laughs> hey, Luigi's there. Nice. What does that mean? <laughs> Loving it. Hi everyone, that's my opening. <laughs> Yoshiaki Koizumi. You just got your first look at the brand new sequel, Super Mario Maker, which we're of course calling Super Mario Maker 2. <laughs> <laughs> so original. There will be brand new features, and many new elements are in development as we speak. So please stay tuned. Why do they always pause like that? Yeah. <laughs> For the first time in 10 years. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Wow. Oh, sweet. Yes, that's going to be amazing. That's exciting. So much better than Marvel vs. Capcom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh man, that's gonna man. be so sweet. Oh, yes. <laughs> 
They were so smart for this. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Wow. Locally and online, you don't even have to be next to each other. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> shit. <clears throat> my bad, guys. Excuse my French. <laughs> That's okay. I'm not big enough to get monetized yet. <laughs> One day, excuse my friend. Yeah, well, right, one day. <laughs> Hopefully, we look back on this and say, oh no, my video got to buy this. <laughs> right. <laughs> this game always looked interesting. I just never got into it. Maybe now's the time. <laughs> Two days after my birthday. Okay. The ultimate spring update. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is about to spring forward with the version 3.0 update. This what y'all doing? What are we adding, you ask? You'll just have to wait to find out. Okay, <sighs> you're right. Remember, Joker is a part of Challenger Pack 1. He's secretly been preparing for battle, and his moment will finally come before the end of April. Ooh, what's up? This year, I can't even see him. He's already looking awesome. Right. <laughs> and don't forget, new Super Smash Bros. series Amiibo figures are on the way, too. So they're gonna release Joker. Where's Charizard? Amiibo? Oh wait, I already have Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, Where's my Charizard yeah. Amiibo? <laughs> treasure tracker. It's never too late for a journey through the maze-like miniature world of the Captain Toad Treasure Tracker game. In fact, we have two new announcements for the Nintendo Switch version. Mm -hmm. After a new <laughs> update, all courses will support two-player co-op. Nice. Maybe Captain Toad won't be so nervous with someone at his side. Two heads are better than one, and an extra set of hands goes a long way. This free That's update cool. will be available later today. And some That's new also cool. content yeah. is coming. We're adding in 18 new challenges that'll see you traveling to five new courses. From sunken ships to a kingdom of sweets. And achieving new objectives in existing courses. Hmm. No. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker's special episode will be available for purchase as soon as, well, later today, giving you early access to one of the courses. The rest of the content will launch on March 14th. Wow. If you don't have the game cool. yet, look out for a digital bundle available on Nintendo Three days Shop before my birthday. It contains the full game and gives you access to Captain Toad Treasure Tracker's special episode once it's available. <laughs> so, very cool. Ritual of the Night. Looks like Castlevania. By design. With these powers, you can steal the abilities of enemies, bend gravity to her will, and dart about Jubal's castle at lightning speed. Here, Laser! It's awesome that it's voice uh, acted. You can dig deep into character customization, subquests, and more. Stop hmm. the fall of man yes. at the hands of demons. And don't be afraid to show them your dark side. Blood wow. Stage, ritual of the that night. game looks really good. <laughs> the time has come to build a new world and take on the children of the Builders 
<laughs> Jeez. Monster craft. <laughs> Dragon Quest Builders 2. That looks fun. Not really what I want to play, but it looks pretty fun. Koizumi san! Snap! Oh, guys. Yeah. Unreal Engine. Man. That's pretty impressive. Oh, that's interesting. Also interesting. Yeah, needs more subtitles. Right. Like, <laughs> exclusive, <laughs> more. exclusive S. <laughs> Definitive Edition Plus Ultra. <laughs> I'd play that game if it wasn't turn based, but I can't I can't play turn based games. <laughs> ha, what? Wow. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Can I just hear Japanese Disney characters? Yep. <laughs> that was cute. Hey, it's Starlink. Haven't played it yet. Wow. Nice. It's amazing. Man, now I really need to play this game. into these kinds of games. <laughs> You could just as easily play a game like that on your phone. You can finally confirm that 
Rune Factory 5 cool. is in development. Nice. Look forward to more info in the future. It's really cool for those who are interested. <laughs> yeah, right. Mm -hmm. A time will come to slay monsters and rescue lost souls before those souls become monsters. In this action RPG from the developers of I Am Setsuna and Lost Sphere, oh, lucky. step into a realm built upon the tenets of reincarnation, granting you new powers. Each soul's power this looks pretty nice. Ooh. You must choose the right soul for the situation at hand. In this deep single player campaign, hmm. there will be many battles. You will fight and you will become stronger. Those who fall to grief are lost, and the lost don't reincarnate. The very foundations of reincarnation will begin to crumble when Onimaki launches mm. the summer That game looks pretty interesting. It looks pretty deep. Robots and Yoshis in a world of crap. You know what that means? Finally. Right. Finally. <laughs> Coming for that Yoshi How's game. So far? Next, we have a follow up on the latest installment in one of our long running series, uh -huh. Fire Emblem Three Houses. Yay! Please have a look. Unreal Engine, I just have to say, is the best thing that ever happened in video games. <laughs> <laughs> it really does look really slick. Three houses brought me here. Right. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> the continent of Fosia, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fosia and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. In the Fire Emblem Three Houses game, you are the hero the world needs. You'll travel to Garrick Mock Monastery, where you'll receive an offer to teach at the Officer's Academy. Around that same time, you alone begin to see a mysterious girl named Surface who appears within your mind. The Officer's Academy is comprised of three houses. The Black Eagles is for students from the Adrestian Empire including the house leader and future emperor, Edelgard. The Blue Lions boast Prince Dimitri of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus as its house leader. The Golden Deer is for students from the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, who is the heir of the noble family that leads the Alliance. In addition to the house leaders, there are many other students to meet, each with their own unique personality and so much dead air, but I'm interested in the story, so I apologize. Students are expected mm. to when it comes to video games with story, I'm all over them. All like story is the main part of a lot of video games for me. So, I mean, absolutely, and gameplay uh, can't be everything. You know, uh, obviously a game needs superb gameplay in order to be functional, but without a good story, it's just kind of there. Right. Yeah. At the Officer's Academy, your students will work diligently each day so that they may wield a variety of weapons. This looks completely different from other Fire Emblems. It does. 
it's got a lot of different mechanics uh, that'll make it look different, but at its core, it's still the same. Like you can see uh, all the different skills that everyone can learn, and it's still more or less uh, not turn-based, but uh, what what's the uh, I can't think of the term for it, but uh, it's still that way. Real-time battle. Yeah, yeah, real-time strategy. Yeah, yeah, that's right. By doing so, their bonds will strengthen, and they'll be able to better support each other on the battlefield. Three houses will release on July 20th. Quite an interesting Ooh. way to to change up the Fire Emblem game. Yeah. I can't wait, really. <laughs> so, how does it look? It looks amazing. Yeah. It does. We announced that Fire Emblem Three Houses. Oh, wait till July. With no development time, will be necessary. And so the new release date is July 26th. That means we'll have to ask you to wait a little longer. But we hope you'll look forward to the next generation of Fire Emblem all the same. I understand. <laughs> Time for some more Nintendo Switch headlines. What kind of master? In this next entry of this iconic series, the last player standing wins. Tetris. <laughs> 99 players. But only one reigns supreme. Battle Royale Tetris? This is hmm. Tetris 99. Tetris Fortnite. <laughs> right. The game arrives with an online experience like no other. Nintendo Switch online members can battle for dominance in this free to download game. That's pretty cool. If you're attacked with garbage, attack back to defeat the other 98 players and become the sole survivor. Jeez. Wow. Nintendo Switch online members, be ready to join the fight. You guys are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's really interesting. Online events. Prepare to kill, survive, or die in dead by daylight. Hmm. Imagine this. Ooh. You're alone, struck by fear, struggling to survive. And then you meet another survivor. But it's too late. The killer is upon you. Now run. Hide. Scavenge for items. Open the gates and escape with your life, or take on the role of the killer to make the so-called survivors your next victims. Terrifying? Oh yes. Satisfying? Just you wait. <laughs> Loads of maps, characters, and cosmetics to earn. You'll experience the deep progression system while you're on the hunt or being hunted. Wow! <laughs> this looks uh, just like that uh, Friday the Thirteenth uh, um, game yeah. from Steam, right? Which I've never played, but I will be happy to try this game out. Mm. Undertale hmm? for players that completed Undertale. Okay, I need to play Undertale, right? Delta. Oh yeah, Delta Room. Right. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> okay. There aren't actually that many dogs in this game. Whoa. Hmm. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay, well, not be free. Okay, but now I really need to play on this. <laughs> Damon X Machina. Nice. Hello, everyone. So I gotta get Yoshi, I gotta get Damon. <laughs> Four different missions while exploring the basic controls and custom 
accusation of a personal man known as an Archibald. You can also experience a boss battle in the final mission, so please try it out. Hmm. Wow. After playing the demo, we'd like to hear your feedback. We'll be conducting a short online survey by sending an email invite to some players to try out prototype missions. Hmm. If you weren't selected for the survey, we also welcome your feedback via social media. We okay. appreciate your feedback and hope to make the team the best it can be. We have more to say about Game X Machina, so please follow the official Nintendo of America Twitter account so you can stay up to date on the latest information. Game X Machina should be launching this summer. Kind of makes you want to Twitter. <laughs> I already have one. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter at the Spiral Dragon. That's me. Did you say split screen? Yes. I could get down with that. I haven't played a good racing game in a while. Oh, this. Okay, I will. And here, I thought I was going to have to get it on the PlayStation. I'm getting it on the Switch. Definitely. <laughs> ah, that's right. Mortal Kombat 11. He dabbed. <laughs> <laughs> Was Unravel 1 put on this system? I don't think so. Hmm. What? Oh yeah, he's got superpowers. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> this, is this? Wow, it's finally coming to Nintendo. <laughs> I believe I already knew this, but wow, it's finally coming to Nintendo. <laughs> Well, yeah. Today. Whoa, later today. today, okay. That's all for today's Nintendo Switch headline. Give me that. And I didn't see Metroid Prime 4. Well, we have a bit more to share of this Nintendo Direct. Please stay with us until the end. Let's take a look, shall we? Nope, I'm going to turn it off now. Let's end. Sounds really diluted in this one.
Looks really cool. Hmm. Yeah. fun <laughs> ah ha, platinum okay <laughs> what you just witnessed is astral chain a brand new action game and development of platinum games it looked like two characters were fighting together during battle didn't it i hope you're excited to learn more about how combat will play out in this game very sir mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes, yes, actually. The developers of Bayonetta 3 are hard at work, and I hope you're looking forward to learning more. Yes. Our next title will be the last announcement of the day. Will it? Please check it out. Doesn't look like Metro. <laughs> I know. <laughs> So like Frozen 2. Oh no, stop. Oh, <laughs> oh what? Is this the Legend of Zelda? Huh. And he was never heard from again. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Link's Awakening. Nice. Yes! Whoa. I like it. What? What is what that a chain chomping? What am I looking at here? <laughs> that, it's like claymation. <laughs> right. Hey, it's Kipor Gaybora. Or is it Kai Guy? I don't know. Kai Bora Guy Bora. And yeah, those are Goombas. Those were different Goombas. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I've ever finished Link's Awakening, so gimme. Right, why I'll, not? I'll play it on the Switch. So, what did you think? <laughs> that long last 1993 Game Boy classic, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, will find new life on Nintendo Switch. But why Link's Awakening? Are we going somewhere with this? We'll have more to say. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you so much for watching. Well, that was fun. It's the beginning of the year, so a bit lackluster in some areas. <laughs> but still, decent amount of stuff to look forward to. Oh yeah, that. Like I need to download Yoshi's Crafted World and Damon X Machina demos. Mm -hmm. Looking forward definitely to um, that platinum game. Uh, uh, Astral Chain. Yeah, Astral Chain. Looking forward to Fire Emblem. Oh yeah, that, that does seem really interesting. Quite unlike uh, any other Fire Emblem that I'm used to. And right. yet still the same. Yeah. That's kind of like how they uh, changed around Final Fantasy, what was that, 13? When they 
when they made the uh, the angles and stuff all dynamic, even though it was still a turn-based game. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> and made it made, made it feel like it was a lot more dynamic. But I still probably wouldn't be able to play it. <laughs> it's still turn-based. It's still turn-based. <laughs> I, I'd, I'd rather willing, do card based. <laughs> I'd be willing to ignore it being turn based for the substance of the story. I I still couldn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I still couldn't because it, it's just too uh, too restrictive for me. When it comes to uh, real time strategy, like Fire Emblem, that is a different story, slightly different but different nonetheless. All right. It's different because you have uh, a larger uh, array of enemies to worry about, and and, yeah. and you can position yourself away from them so that you're not always under attack. Right. So that yeah. it's not like you're taking your turn to attack. It's like you you can attack and they still have to come to you. So you you have a way to um, manipulate and maneuver around. Uh, the stage, right? Something you can't do with turn-based games, right? It's true, right? That was a really fun direct, though. Mm. I liked it. Liked it a lot. Uh, didn't see Metroid, which is fine. Um, it's still in development, and they still need a, a little more time to make it perfect. What I was disappointed in not seeing is a Metroid Prime trilogy. Uh, announcement for the switch because mm. i need that right they need to put it on the switch well, you know <laughs> they're probably going to release that with metroid prime 4 yeah but then i have to play all the all three other games right before four like oh, okay if they released it within a few months of four i, I suppose that's fine mm. but if they released it all on the same day i'd be like what the come on <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, is a lot. it seems like it kind of seems like that's what they like to do, though, right? Like um, they they throw everything that pertains to one specific thing, uh, or you know, one specific theme out there at once, so uh, so you can get a feel for what all you have to look forward to instead of in compartments. Usually, it seems like that's the way they do it. Yeah. All in all, pretty good. Yoshi's uh, Epic Yarn. The Crafted World. Crafted World, right. Epic Yarn was before that one. Right. Crafted World. Uh, looks good for the kids. <laughs> 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 I mean, it, it's nice for Yoshi lovers. Um, I was about to say, don't hate now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, uh, I mean, it seems pretty solid. I love Yoshi's story. It looks like just a unreal version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> doesn't make it any less good I said nothing of the sort <laughs> <laughs> I like the direction they're taking with uh, bringing the old Game Boy Zelda to the switch like instead of just porting it right uh, instead of just porting Link's Awakening they're saying uh, let's just update the graphics but not in the way that people would expect let's Let's change it up, kind of like how they uh, did with Wind Waker, mm. um, but like you know, just a, a different uh, style, and that makes it a little more interesting to want to play through uh, instead even of if just you, yeah, like yeah, even if, yeah, you've, even if you've already played it. Mm. So I mean, they that's... we can even see they added new elements, Goombas and Chain Chomps. Mm. <laughs> that's that's refreshing. Mm. I saw that big egg and I was like, Link's Awakening, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was kind of hoping it was a new Zelda adventure, but like, what are you going to do, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it just makes me wonder, like, where, where are we going with this? They bring back such an old Zelda game. Why? They, they could just revamp Link again. Or, or or sequel one of his more recent stories uh, why are we bringing light back to this super old Zelda uh, they could have remastered any of them yeah 
I mean, I guess Link's Awakening is one of, uh, if not the most popular classic Legend of Zelda. Um, it's just, like, what I would like to see, I guess, is, I'm trying to say is, uh, for them to make uh, sense of the chronology of all of the heroes of time, um, and, you know, just do something epic with that. Right. That might, that might be interesting. Next time we react to one of these directs, I'm going to have a notepad and pen to write down all the announcements so that I don't have to uh, keep trying to remember. Keep trying yeah. to remember because there were so many games like uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. I really <laughs> want to play that game. That looks really good. Uh, they crammed a lot into 36 minutes. Yeah, they did. Yeah, right. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I didn't expect that at all. There, there are a lot of games that are coming out that I really want to play, and I just can't think of them off the top of my head because of my my memory is just so recent for, right. for what's been going on. Uh, that's all right. That's fine. A lot of games I want to play. Um, some games I'm, I'm really happy for other people, uh, especially like Dragon Quest, which I can't play because it's turn-based. Oh, that, that's just my excuse. <laughs> uh, I, I just I can't do it. <laughs> I just can't do it. Um, uh, but, but yeah, a lot of games. Uh, anything else you guys want to uh, contribute? Hmm... Honestly, this as I've matured as a gamer, looking at all of this, I didn't see something that really jumped out at me like, you should definitely be getting this game. Mm. I saw a lot of potential and a lot of what they had going on. Um, Damon Ex Machina, um, you know, and uh, the uh, which one was that where uh, she had to go through uh, Viking hell to save her lover? Right, yeah, that one. Now that did jump out at me. That yeah. one did jump out at me. Is it because it was a PlayStation game first? <laughs> <laughs> it, it was because it looked graphically beautiful it and it and it seemed to have a really deep and rich story. It's the true. fact that it was on PlayStation had little that had no bearing on it. I didn't right, even yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know um, Death by Daylight looks pretty good. Oh yeah, that's right. Dead by Daylight. Yeah. Um, you find another survivor. Uh oh, right, right. It's it's that Friday the thirteenth game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if it's exactly that one, but it's basically that. Is it? I, I saw a review of it. It, it is <laughs> basically literally. That. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine with me. I yeah, suppose. sure. <laughs> Like, it's not a bad premise, so, uh, mm. you know, that seems likable. Oh, Tetris 99. Man. That's right. That they're looks crazy. Amazing. <laughs> that is it's amazing. Insane. Yes. <laughs> it's Tetris Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> Fortress. Fort, Fort. Yep. <laughs> it's Fortress. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Fortress. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get Fortress when it drops. <laughs> we got we got a lot thrown at us for the amount of time, mm. but at the right. same time, there was some stuff that I felt like needed more. Mm. Like there, there there was a couple things that seemed really interesting, but it was just glanced over real fast. Mm. To where if we would have gotten a little more information, it would have jumped out and I'd actually probably be more eager to get it. Uh, you, you mean like that sort of rapid fire near the end? Uh, yeah. With, uh, with, the, with the yarn guys. Yeah. I can't remember the name of the, the game. They do like doing that. Yeah. Yeah, they, they like to rapid fire um, at, at a certain point in the direct. Most of the time. Mm-hmm. Was it, was it during the direct? Was there another game that was uh, kind of like Fortnite? 
Now, there were a lot of Animal Crossing type games, you know, Golden Sun type games. Mm. I never got into those. Oh, right, the Super Mario Maker, that looks interesting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I probably won't play it just like I didn't play the but, Yeah. <laughs> but it does look fun. It looks nice for, for those who like Paper Mario. Uh, Paper Mario. Yeah. Well, also like <laughs> Mario Maker. <laughs> Where is my Paper Mario for the Switch? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Give me a million year door. Uh, yeah, <laughs> million, million year door. I'd, I'd probably get it because I like I like designing stuff and just messing with stuff like that. Mm. Customization is really just interesting to me. I think I'm pretty much tapped. Mm. I think so. Can't wait to see what yeah. other DLC uh, comes out for Smash. Mm. Joker, Joker is looking nice. Didn't right. see his face yeah. looking nice. That Unreal Engine, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Best thing to happen to video games since 3D models. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's it for me. Yes. Yeah, yep. taps. I like I like what I saw overall. Nothing seemed like it was like, why are you doing this? All right. Yeah. Or or who asked for this? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not like last direct piranha plant. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I I was really trying not to. Go there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, on that note. This is Ross Senryu and his siblings signing out. Peace. See y'all next time. Later.